friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I will teach you how to make this cute Santa game in scratch. It has a lot of potential. You can add more levels and you can make it more difficult by adding more obstacles. So let's start learning it. Open a new project, get rid of Scratchy the cat. First make the intro page with the name of the game is displayed. Just choose a backdrop. I will choose blue sky. And I need a sprite telling the name of the game. So I will just go and paint a sprite and I will upload a costume. So Santa on a diet and I will upload another costume, which is the same text that I wrote using an online font generator. I've mentioned that font generator in my Halloween interactive card class and I will upload the second one, which is exactly the same text but in a different color and I will just first convert it to vector okay so that I can copy it and again convert this one to vector and paste the blue one on top of it just bring it down a little so it has a 3d effect select all of it and make it bigger I feel that this one should go to the back so I took it to the back now this looks better okay so this is our intro screen and let's quickly write down the code for it. When flag is clicked, the sprite should show for about two seconds and then it should hide after broadcasting a message that the game should start. Okay, so hide and it should also show in the beginning and you go to events and it broadcasts a message called start game. Okay. So it will hide after a while. Okay, now we need a Santa Claus. So I will just upload a sprite because it is not already available in Scratch. And I will be giving the link to that website, a free website from where I got the Santa sprite. It has 13 costumes. So I will upload the first one, name it Santa. And then I will go to the costumes and upload all the remaining costumes. And I've already taught you how to use such costumes to make the walking animation in my zombie chase game. So I will quickly show you how it has been done in this game because I want to spend more time on the scrolling background part of our game, okay? So I have changed its size to 45. When the right arrow key is pressed, it first points in direction 90, that is it points in this direction and 13 times because we remember we have 13 costumes and 13 times it shifts between these costumes, next costume, and then it changes X by three. That is the costumes are also changing and it is also moving towards the right. This is what we want. And another thing that we need is that we want to add a delay of 0 0.01 seconds, okay? So look, it's looking very cute. We get these blocks from events so when the space key is pressed so i just change it to up arrow and repeat eight times change x by 10 that is it will be moving slightly towards the right and going up two okay so this is for the upward and then it will coming down so it will stay there for 0 0.05 seconds and then it will start coming down with a little bit of delay okay let me go over it again every time it goes up it will wait for 0 0.01 seconds okay and then this loop finishes it will stay there for 0 0.05 seconds and then then it will start coming down so this is the opposite of this thing except the center is still moving towards the right so it is moving towards the right and going up and then after a delay of 0 0.05 seconds it is coming down y is being made negative but it is still going towards the right so he's basically making a long jump so this is the walking and the jumping code for the santa sprite okay so what should happen when he reaches the edge and in fact we have lost him here so we have to first bring him back another important thing is that the santa should only show when the game starts that is when it receives the message when i receive start game show me Okay, and actually when the flag is clicked, it should remain hidden. Okay, and 
we have to get our Santa back because we have lost him somewhere. So I just clicked on go to random position. So now he's back and look here. So this is a good starting point for Santa. Okay. We don't want him touching this edge because if we make the starting point with him touching the edge already, we will not be able to sense this edge. Okay. It will not be able to distinguish between which edge he's touching. This block captures the current position of Santa. This is this position of Santa right now. So just drag it and put it here. And what we want to do is that when he's moving, every time he ch changes X by three, we check whether he's touching the edge because we are looking for this edge now. We just need the if block and we just put it here after this change X by three. And inside this if block, we are going to be sensing that is it touching the edge and if it is touching the edge we want him to go back to this position duplicate it put it here and see good now we want to work out on our moving platform okay so i need a sprite remember in scratch anything that moves has to be a sprite the backdrop doesn't have any motion blocks in it because the backdrop cannot move. So what we are going to do is that we are going to have a sprite that acts as your background. So let's just quickly paint one. Okay. So this is our background and it's, it will be a sprite that fully covers the screen. So let's quickly draw it and choose the rectangle tool and draw a full rectangle here it should be completely full okay and this is the grass so we will give it a green color and we need another rectangle for the top part and this is going to be the sky oh pardon i forgot that it has to be snow and the sky will be blue so make sure that it is filling the entire screen i just minimized it a little bit using the magnifying tool to look that it is totally covering the screen so this is done let's add a few trees to it too and i will just upload costumes for the trees okay and i upload images that i have downloaded from the internet they by default come as bitmaps and i have to convert them to vector so that i can copy them and use them here okay so i have these trees, these beautiful looking trees, make sure that they do not go outside this rectangle. Because the thing with this scrolling background is that we want these areas to be very clear because what basically happens is that when they are scrolling, we are repeating this, the same background. If we have things that are coming here, then it will look like as if they are cut. They will look weird. So make sure that these part little bit of this part and little this part are exactly the same for these both sides like this side should be exactly the same as this side another thing is that our santa has disappeared so we want the santa we want him to be in the front layer so when the game starts i want if i go to the looks go to front layer okay our background should also only show when it receives the game start so let's go to our background code and write some code for it that when flag is clicked it should hide because we are showing our intro screen and when it receives start game it should show now we want this background to move when Santa is walking. Okay. We do not want this background to move if Santa is not walking. Makes sense, doesn't it? So there should be a message broadcasted by Santa when he's walking. So when right arrow key is pressed, he should broadcast a message. So let's go to events and broadcast a message a new message that Santa is walking. Okay. We make sure that this background is in the exact center by going to the motion block and taking this go to block. This is the current position and we should make it zero so that it's in the exact center of the screen. When it receives the message that Santa is walking, it should start moving towards 
the left, scrolling towards the left while Santa is moving towards the right. So it's the exact opposite of the Santa code. And what was the Santa code? That apart from this costume change, it was changing x by 3 and then waiting for 0 0.01 seconds inside a repeat 13 loop. Take this block here and just drag it until the background wiggles. And as you can see that it's inside here. Okay, put this below when I receive Santa walking. So repeat 13 times. I don't want next costume and I don't want this if touching edge. And we do the opposite that it is going towards the left. So when Santa will walk, this background will start scrolling towards the left. So let's try to do it. As you can see, this looks nice. Now you see the problem. The, this background is now showing, okay? So what we want to do is that we need to do two things. First, when it reaches the edge, this point, it should, this thing should all start all over again. And we need to take care of this background showing bit too. So let's first take care of when it reaches the extreme left side. So what will be the point it will be? If I just drag it, start taking it towards the left manually. So when it reaches X is minus 584. So when X is less than minus 583, we should bring it back to this position, okay? Which is 583, the opposite side, okay? So after this loop finishes, I have to check whether it has reached this extreme point. And we know that when it reaches the extreme point, X is something around five, minus 584. So I'm just going to use an if block from control. And if we are going to use an operator, if it is the X position, we go to the motion blocks and we get the X position by using this. And if X is less than minus 583, because remember, this is a negative number. So minus 584 is actually less than minus 583. So we want to capture minus 584. So when X is minus 584 that is less than minus 583 we want it to start from here okay so we are going to go to what position this will be stay zero and our x will become 584 let's try it out and let's see how it goes so see it is sliding towards the left And as soon as, as it will reach that extreme edge, it should come back. See, now it's back, okay? But this part is showing. So to take care of this background, what we have to do is we just duplicate this. And when we duplicate it, what we want is that our second background always starts from where X is 584. So our first background is filling up the entire screen when it is at X0 and Y0, okay? And when it is here, the second background is somewhere here. So when it starts sliding towards the left, the second background takes care of this backdrop that was behind, okay? And when our first background will reach this edge, it will start from here. So it will take care of the entire scrolling let's test it out so our background is moving and see this is now the second background that is scrolling okay and now this is our first background okay while all the time it looks like as if Santa is walking past all these beautiful sceneries, okay? And we can make the second background slightly different from the first background by changing the position of the trees a little bit so it doesn't look as if it's exactly the same. You don't get the feeling of deja vu. I will teach the remaining part of the game in the second part of the video. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.